If you've had the pleasure of dabbling with Two Point Hospital on PC, then you'll know that its particular brand of healthcare simulator is one that will stick with you for months to come. And now, sometime in late 2019, it's coming to PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. For anyone who's experienced its universe of bizarre illnesses, you'll know that this is a prescription for a lot of hours lost to your sofa. And that's speaking as someone who's clocked some 50 odd hours in the game on PC already. The console version might yet to have a concrete release date, but feel safe in the knowledge that it is coming and it will include all the updates from the PC version to date, plus the two DLC expansions for free as a special console bonus. That's 21 hospitals to build and maintain, and 119 illnesses to treat and generally giggle at, all for one price. I recently had the pleasure of going hands-on with both the PS4 and Nintendo Switch versions of the game down at Two Point Studios itself, and oh boy, have the team absolutely nailed the console command conversions. Handily, the user interface itself has mainly remained the same between PS4 and console versions, so for anyone making the transition, it'll feel quite seamless. But it's the ingenious allocation of menus to specific face buttons that'll have you zooming through menus and laying out rooms faster than you can on PC. The majority of your building, hiring and firing menus are assigned to your square button, or Y on Switch, while moving between the menus are mapped to L1 and R1, or L and R on Switch. Because all of the building elements are locked to a grid-based structure, it's easy to pick up and place items even without the use of a mouse. It was quite incredible just how quickly the control scheme was to pick up. There are some nice new additions for the console version too, making things a lot more visual. When you're building a new room for example, you're given a checklist at the top of the UI to work through, with a simple hit of triangle or X on switch to place the room and get it up and running. It makes it quick and simple to see what you need to place at a glance, which is handy for the console UI. Of course, you can add more items if you want, I'm partial to a plant or two for example, but as long as you hit the criteria, you're good to go. There is still a cursor if you want to use it though, and it comes in especially handy for browsing through the different skills of potential hirees. It loiters in the middle of the screen, allowing you to select individual items or employees within its world. It's surprisingly unobtrusive and just relies on you maneuvering the camera to wherever or whatever you want to highlight. Otherwise though, it's the same brilliant two-point hospital. In our original review, we praised it for being a cure for boredom and sadness, and the fact it takes the funny bones and beating heart of theme hospital and transplants them into an entirely new mini-universe of glee and medical mischief. That's all still there in the console version, and it'll keep you tapping away to cure its various illnesses for days to come. Whether it's lightheadedness, where patients are wandering around with light bulbs instead of heads, or Emperor's Complex that'll have patients convince they're clothed when actually they're strutting around in their birthday suits. Every little animation, cure, and activity is worth paying attention to in Two Point Hospital. There's always something going on. It's amazing to see Two Point Hospital arrive on consoles. It's such a brilliant game, and this will really open it up to a new audience. I'm so relieved the console controls translate so well and seriously, if you haven't checked it out before, please do.